Welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, batten down the hatches, because there is more news in tonight's Stormy Watch. Yeah. There is ongoing troubles for the man who paid off Stormy Daniels, New York attorney and sad neck with hair, Michael Cohen. <laughs> Cohen, who is Trump's lawyer, was in court today with his lawyer. Pro tip for the president, when your lawyer needs a lawyer, you need a lawyer. <laughs> now, we... That's a maxim. It sounds classier in Latin. Oh, yeah, I bet. Yes. We already knew that Cohen represented Donald Trump and paid hush money to cover up his affairs. And last week it was revealed his second client was Deputy RNC Finance Chair and Donald Trump flattened out by a rolling pin. <laughs> Elliot Brody. Now, Cohen... Cohen helped Brody pay $1.6 million in hush money after Brody had an affair with a Playboy Playmate, and not the same Playboy Playmate that Donald Trump had an affair with. That's two Playboy Playmates now. I'm, I'm just glad Hef isn't alive to see his life's work <laughs> dragged through the filth like this. He really... I read the articles. Oh, yeah, yeah, just the articles. I read the articles. Now, it was revealed that Cohen had one more undisclosed client, secret. But today in court, the judge ordered him to reveal the name. It was, nope, you know, <laughs> CNN, you've earned this. Michael Cohen has just disclosed in court that the client who had requested to remain unnamed was Sean Hannity of Fox News. How did I get this? I don't know. <laughs> John Stewart, after the show, I'm gonna come over and we're just gonna spoon. <laughs> just spoon. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Cohen only has two other clients and all he does for them is pay off mistresses. <laughs> Which raises the obvious question, who did Sean Hannity have sex with? <laughs> Now, we don't know, and I can't prove this, mm -hmm. but I think it's that football he's always holding. <laughs> yeah, every commercial break, he's got his hands all over it. Mmm, <laughs> daddy wants some pigskin. <laughs> now, uh, as I said, we don't know. We may never know. But it doesn't matter what Cohen was doing for him. What does matter is that Sean Hannity is out there every day, every night, defending Trump and Michael Cohen. President Trump's longtime personal attorney, Michael Cohn, just had his office, his home, and his hotel that he was staying in raided by the FBI today in an early morning raid. Now, what that means is Mueller's witch hunt investigation is now a runaway train that is clearly careening off the tracks. The media is spinning out of control following the FBI's raid on Trump's personal attorney, Michael Cohn. I got to agree with Sean on this one. The media is spinning out of control. Did you hear about this guy on Fox News who's defending Cohen without revealing that it's his lawyer, too? <laughs> that's crazy. Mm. That's, um, that's a pretty dig, dig, big, big, dig, <laughs> Yeah. It's so crazy, I can't even say the words. <laughs> that's a pretty dig, 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 dig. Where's the wine? Where's the wine? Where's the wine? Oh. Got stuck in my teeth there. <laughs> That's a big detail to leave out, Sean. What else haven't you been telling us? That you share a barber with the Lego man? <laughs> how did... It was worth the trip. How did... How did... How did Fox News 
let him go on the air with this massive conflict of interest? Did he not tell them? Or did he tell them and they just ignored it? I'm going to go with the first one, because I know Sean Hannity, and delivering factual information <laughs> is not his strong suit. <laughs> but... I gotta say, I, I, this is my first reaction this afternoon when we heard about it, right before rehearsals. I pity Sean Hannity. All this time, he was defending Michael Cohen and Donald Trump so vociferously. Maybe he wasn't being a reflexive propagandist for a corrupt regime. <laughs> Maybe he was just trying to protect himself. Here was a man who was about to be revealed. He was afraid the truth was gonna come out and destroy everything he built. He was frailed. He was flawed. In other words, he was human. <laughs> for the first time, I feel for Sean Hannity. Halloween yeah. is teaching our kids to be liberals, yeah. teaching kids to knock on, on other people's doors and right. ask for a handout. Well, that did not last long. <laughs> that did not last long. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Uh... Cohen was in court today because last week the FBI raided his home and office and seized a bunch of files, which is trouble because the documents could shed light on some of Mr. Trump's thorniest personal and business problems. Thorniest? <laughs> uh... Jim, I think we got an extra T. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. So, just to, to, to head off potential damage, last night, President Trump asked a federal judge to allow him to review those documents before criminal investigators do. <laughs> oh, I bet you want to do that. <laughs> you can't review evidence in a case about you. That's like saying, Your Honor, before the autopsy, can I have a moment with the victim's body? There's a <laughs> couple of my favorite knives in there I want to get back. <laughs> Stuck in the sternum. And... It's not just files. The FBI seized audio recordings from Cohen's office during their raid. What's on those tapes is anyone's guess. Can I guess? <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, a panicked call by Donald Trump from Moscow asking if baking soda and seltzer water will get stains out of a Sealy Posture PD. Uh, Whatever. It's lemon juice. Lemon juice? Uh, lemon juice. Uh, lemon works. juice? It works. Okay. Whatever. Whatever! <laughs> Trump is desperately trying to suppress those documents. He even tweeted, attorney-client privilege <laughs> is now a thing of the past. I have many, too many, lawyers. <laughs> and they are probably wondering when their offices and even homes are going to be raided with everything, including their phones and computers taken. All lawyers are deflated and concerned. <laughs> First off, you have too many lawyers? You're down to three. <laughs> you shed lawyers faster than a shark sheds teeth. <laughs> you, you shed them faster than you shed wives. <laughs> and... And... <laughs> Sounds like some of his former wives were here tonight. <laughs> and what do you mean all lawyers are deflated and concerned? I can think of one lawyer who's pretty happy right now. <laughs> and... I've never seen him smile. I've never I seen never a man saw smile. I've never a man smile in years. And if Michael Cohen did not have enough to worry about, his trial was also attended by Stormy Daniels herself. <laughs> She's got a lot of courtroom experience thanks to her appearance in the adult movies May I Please the Court, <laughs> Hung Jury, and Citizens United versus FEC with sex. And with all of this, we haven't even talked about Jim Comey's interview with George Stephanopoulos, but we will when we come back. <laughs>